I don't know why I keep making these like 30 day series. I know I get sick every month, like at least once. Poor planning on my part. So I should have expected this. We're gonna keep it simple today. Here's my notes from yesterday. It was a good idea to just go ahead and start filming and make sure you're being discreet and not disruptive. And no one cared. Absolutely no one cared. I tried to find a spot that no one was around and thankfully I went during the middle of the day. Not that many people were at the library. I looked at the pictures beforehand to decide which library I wanted to go to and also how far away they were. Taking a bus takes time and I think it all worked out pretty good. I did use my softening um, filter lens because I wanted a dreamier look for the library and I have yet to edit it because I, I am delaying it because I don't feel great. So I, I was editing every day when I got done filming so that I could keep the shots in mind that I wanted to keep like I, I could remember them and look for them but now we're a day off. I also don't get that second chance time anymore so that's fun. So I might have to like edit two videos in one day to get caught up when I'm feeling better. Those are the notes. Uh, the observation. Someone tried to hit me with their car yesterday. I observed that I was really ticked off about it. I was in the crosswalk. This lady was coming through and she kept like, I kept walking and she kept like, and I, like, <sighs> she was close enough to hit me. Like I could have turned around and touched her car and she kept moving. And so finally I was like, hey, you need to stop, like stop. And then she was like, okay. And it's like, you knew what you were doing. You you knew because you weren't surprised when I said you need to stop. She, she was more like, okay, okay, I get it, yeah. And it's like, why are you weird? Why, are you, why, why can't you just wait for me to get through the crosswalk and then you go? That was the only observational note. Basically, one of the things I've been finding very frustrating about all of this is having to be in public. I don't like the public very much. Because people are weird and crazy. And you don't know what they're capable of, but most of them are capable of horrible things. I think she wanted to hit me with her car just to figure, like, see how it worked. Okay, we gotta get rid of all of this. Okay, so observational notes. I forgot my thumbnail again. I don't know what's happening there. We're gonna have to write that down like 20 more times to remember it. I've also been forgetting to put it in my two lines of observations um, before the end result. So, yeah. Those are just more notes. Those weren't observations at all, were they? I don't really have any observations. I have notes. <laughs> okay, so I actually don't even remember what I've already said. So before we get to what I will be shooting, I want to suggest two shows that you could watch if you're not feeling like watching YouTube, but you want to be inspired. Hi, Momo. The first one is Ted Lasso. Beautiful storytelling. They decided to have a three season arc. Within each episode, there is a story. Within each season, there is a story. And the three seasons completed a story and they're not gonna make any more because it was the story they had to tell. It was so beautifully, masterfully done. I swear to God, people are asking for a fourth season and if they do that, I'm gonna be so ticked because why? They had a story, they told it, it was done great, leave it alone. Okay, but watch it, watch it. It's, it's pretty damn uplifting. And, and if you guys like a positive mindset kind of show, this is the one. And then the other one is Undone. It is an animated dark comedy. It's very like trippy and psychedelic and you don't know if the person has like schizophrenia or if they have time travel abilities. It's pretty fun. And this one is for cinematography ideas. Cool transitions. It is animated, but there's a reason why people like love animation. You can do things that are very hard, if not impossible to pull out off in real life. <laughs> like Ghost and Shell was the inspiration for the Matrix at the time. So animation, great way for inspiration. Okay, with that pun, with that, I think it's time for me to make some noodles, which that will be my, my, which that will be my cinematic subject for today. This is, it's gonna be boiling the water, maybe like a pan up of a pot with boiling water, some steam rising, the noodles in, in the pot, Probably a spoon holding the noodle. Am I gonna tell you every shot I'm gonna get? No, we're gonna leave this as a surprise. I mean, it has a beginning, middle, and end. Water boiling, noodles softening, noodles in mouth. And with that, I will show you the end result and say I will see you tomorrow. Bye.
saw Turn the key and cool her on This a pause for relief Free pass, you don't even have to ask to Be the cat in the sun Sun